Drama, 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 and more drama. Prince Harry is coming to the UK to attend the 10th anniversary of the In Victor's Games service being held at St. Paul's Cathedral. Make no mistake, that's the reason why Prince Harry is coming to the UK. However, today on the front page of the Daily Mail, here is what they wrote. And I quote, Harry's back in Britain next week. But will he see his father with a picture of Harry Meghan on their front page? Four years later, after Harry and Meghan fled the UK, still, they make the front page of my family multiple UK tablets in the UK. Today, Daily Mail put a picture of Harry and Meghan on their front page. And my family, I must say, this reminds me of what Megan said in the Harry and Megan documentary about what happened when she and Harry were fleeing the UK. Megan said that they wanted to go to a place whereby the Rorota were not based. Years ago, Harry and Meghan already wanted nothing to do with the Royal Rota, the carnival of so called experts who cover the Royal family for a living. From years ago. And Meghan said that she and Harry wanted a place whereby the Rota were not based. And they said they considered going to New Zealand, Australia, Canada. Anywhere, just as long as it is a place whereby the Rorota are not based. Megan also said that when she and Harry flee the UK, senior members of the royal family who are full of envy because of Harry and Megan Stapa can be able to make the front page every single day. For as many, many times as they want to make the front page. Because she and Harry were fleeing the UK. And you would think that Turkey Media would finally focus on the other members of the royal family. On those senior members of the royal family who are full of envy towards Harry and Meghan Star Power. You would think they focus on them, on William, on Kate, on Charles, on Camilla. But four years later, after Harry and Meghan fled the UK, Harry and Meghan's picture is on the front page of the Daily Mail. However, Daily Mail will do a poll saying that Harry and Meghan are unpopular. Once again, I have no idea what an popular means in the UK. I don't know what it means because it must have a very, very different meaning in the UK. People who are unpopular don't make the front page of a UK tablet or my family any newspaper unless it's a major, major story. My family, unless it's a major, major story about politics, about my family, you know, whatever it is. Unless it's a major, major story. Normally, you want to put on your front page someone who will sell your paper. That's what any media outlet does. It puts on the front page somebody who will sell their paper. Clearly, Charles isn't selling. Camilla isn't selling. William isn't selling the papers for the UK media. Kate is missing. No one has seen her since last year, December. Nobody. My family. She has never been seen publicly since last year. 
However, my family, four years later, even despite Harry Meghan wanting nothing to do with the UK tabloid media, it appears that UK media want everything to do with Harry Meghan. They want to be able to sell papers using Harry and Meghan's picture on my family, the front page, by putting Harry and Meghan's photo on the front page. They want to be able to sell papers, my family. At the same time, they demand that Harry and Meghan don't engage in commercial ventures. At the same time, they are angry because my family, Meghan, is working to earn a living. At the same time that they're making money off of putting Harry and Meghan on their front page, they're demanding that Meghan postpone her plans because my family, Charles and Kate, are ill. The hypocrisy is staggering. And my family, let me address this front page headline, my family. Harry's back in Britain next week, but will he see his father? Whenever Harry and Meghan are at the Invitus Games, UK media like complaining, claiming that uh, Prince Harry and Meghan are taking away the spotlight from the Invitus Games participants. And my family, I have always said this. You cannot blame Harry Meghan because the media chooses to focus on them, chooses to obsess over them. You can't blame Harry and Meghan for that. I have always said that. It's like accusing Harry Meghan for me wanting to talk about them right now. My family, I, I, I just can't do that. But that's what UK media do time and time again. It's like they act as if they're being forced to whinge, mourn, and complain about Harry and Meghan on a daily basis. Yet nobody is forcing them. Nobody is doing that. They're doing that because whinging about Harry Meghan appears to sell papers for them. Creating drama around Harry Meghan with these questions, will Harry see Charles or won't he? Apparently that sells papers. Because the ones who are like, you know, let the focus be on the Vitas games are the same ones who are putting these words on their front page. Will Harry see Charles when he's there? Will Harry, will Harry see Charles when he comes to the UK? My family, why can't they focus on the Invitus Games participants and stop trying to create drama around Harry Meghan? Stop it. Stop it right now. Stop it. Stop trying to create drama around Harry and Meghan. Stop creating drama around Harry and Meghan. Focus on the Invictus Games participants. And the next time, the next time you see any carnival of so-called expert accusing Harry Megan of taking the attention away from the Invictus Games participants, athletes, remind them of exactly what they choose to put on the front page. This drama, this, this story, this my family, you know, question, will Harry see his father? Yes or no? Will Harry see William and Kim Moulton? Yes or no? Instead of focusing on the Invitus Games. Because Harry is coming there for a reason. He is coming there. To my family, attend the Invitus Games 10th anniversary service being held at St. Paul's Cathedral. That's why Harry is coming to the UK. He never said, I'm coming there to see Charles. No. No, my family. Harry did not say that. A few months ago, was when we found out that Prince Harry, yes, indeed, he is coming to see Charles after it was revealed that King Charles had been diagnosed with cancer. Then you can say, yeah, Harry is coming over to see Charles. But right now, he is coming for the Invitus Games. And what are the Kimia doing? 
my family, they are asking questions about whether or not Harry will go see Charles, yes or no. To create drama, 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 drama every single time. And then they blame Harry and Meghan because it's like the UK media are choosing to focus on them and not on the Invitas Games participants. It's utterly disgraceful what UK media are doing. Utterly disgraceful and so, so wrong. And my family, anyway, as I continue, so they've asked this question, will Harry see Charles? Yes or no? My family, and apparently, here is their response, my family. About whether or not Harry will see Charles, yes or no, my family. Here's what they're saying. And this is coming from the Telegraph's Victoria Ward, my family. We do know that the royal family likes leaking to the Telegraph. My family, here's what the farm is saying. You know? They are saying that my family, Prince Harry, will no doubt hope to see his father next week. Should their daddies permit my family. It is thought that Charles will make time to see his son if he is able. <laughs> my family. <laughs> I'm sorry, but my family have to laugh. Because I told you that this would happen a few days ago. For those who remember, for those who've been watching, I told you that this is what is going to happen. Charles is a failed father. That's how he's always been. That's who he'll always be. He doesn't care about Harry. He doesn't care about Meghan. He especially doesn't care about Meghan, Archie, and Lilibet, Diana. Charles only cares about money, the throne, Camilla, and also he loves, you know, getting affection from the UK media and uh, the public. As Harry told us in Spear, and the quote, he loved being shouted with praises by the UK public media. However, he hated their hate. In Harry's own words, oh, how he loved their love. But he hated their hate, my family. You know, that's what Charles cares about family. That's what he cares about so much. But he doesn't care about Prince Harry. He only cares about him if he can use him. But if he can't use Harry, then my family, you get to see Charles through colors. And that's why, my family, I keep saying this. You know, I love Harry and Meghan. And I wish them all the best. There are people in your life who you do love but clearly hurt you again and again and again and again and again. It is better to keep your distance from someone who keeps on, you know, trying to humiliate you again and again and again and again. Because that is what Charles is doing to Prince Harry. He's trying to humiliate him. My family. You know? I mean, my family, hear this. Apparently, Charles has plans. Next week on Wednesday, and I quote, it is said that Charles will have his weekly audience with the Prime Minister on the same day Harry is expected to be in the UK for the Invitas Games 10th anniversary service. And then after his meeting with the Prime Minister, Charles hopes to attend the first Buckingham Palace garden party of the season. Medical advice pending. Charles is also understood to have various appointments and engagements scheduled for the rest of the week. 
Charles is saying he's busy. He's busy. But he'll see if, if he can make time for his son. My family. My family, that's how Charles is. And honestly, I don't think you should be surprised. Because my family, I told you that this was going to happen. This was about to happen. I predicted the headlines even before Harry set foot in the UK. I could see the signs. I could see it. I could see the signs. My family, this is who Charles is. I need you to understand that this is who Charles is. He's a failed father. And he doesn't care about Archie or Lilibet or Harry or Meghan. I believe if Charles ever truly wanted to see Archie and Lilibetana, it would be so easy for him to do it, my family, if he really wanted. If he even wanted for Archie and Lily Bedana to visit him in the UK, Charles has the power, the ability to make it happen. But my family, clearly, he hasn't been interested in seeing Archie Lilibet at all. And that's a fact because he doesn't care. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. I feel like Prince Harry genuinely loves his father. Despite the many times that Charles disappoints Prince Harry, despite the many times that Charles disappoints Harry, Harry does love his father. I firmly believe that. But I don't think or believe the feeling is mutual. You know, because time and time again, Charles just wishes to continue disappointing Prince Harry. My family. That's what Charles keeps on doing again and again and again and again. You know? And my family, I told you this a few days ago. I predicted the headlines. Charles is too busy to see Prince Harry. And my family, it's exactly what is being said right now by Carnival of so-called expert Victoria Ward. And my family, I don't I, I have no idea. Maybe something will happen and Harry will be able to see Charles. I have no idea. Remember, it isn't May 8th yet, my family. So yeah, Harry may be able to see Charles. You know? Or he may not see him, my family, because that also wasn't in his plans. However, Harry did say he has trips that will take him to the UK or through the UK. That's what Harry said, my family. And that he said that when he's there, he'll try as much to be able to see his family in the UK. That's what Harry also said, my family. So I'm assuming maybe he'll try to see Charles when he's there. I just hope that my family, he doesn't feel disappointed when Charles says not to see him. Because already, what is going on right now with this, I'm so busy, I'll be seeing the Prime Minister today. My family, Charles, is setting the stage to once again, my family, you know, embarrass Prince Harry. That's what he's doing. And my family, I just hope that Prince Harry won't feel bad when Charles disappoints him again. My family, that's my hope. And really, that's why even I am happy that uh, Prince Harry and Meghan have announced that indeed they are going to Nigeria for a visit after being invited by the Chief of Defense Staff. My family, the highest ranking military official in Nigeria to come over for a visit to Nigeria. I'm happy about that. Because now, as Charles is saying, I'm too busy to see Prince Harry. Harry also can also say, I'm also busy. I have plans. You know? Harry can also be able to my family say that. But I really hope that Harry won't feel disappointed. You know? My family. 
You know, because Charles is someone who will keep on disappointing Harry again and again and again, my family. And I'm sorry to say that, but he'll do it so oftenly for as long as Harry allows him to. My family, I like using Megan as an example of how to deal with someone who's toxic. My family, Megan wants nothing to do with Thomas Marco Jr., Samantha Marco, and Thomas Marco himself. And UK Media have called her disgusting demeaning names. Oh, Megan has cut off her family on her father's side. Oh, she's only speaking to her mother. My family, have you seen Megan budge? Have you seen Megan budge? The fact is, Megan has continued to keep her distance from those who are toxic to her mental health. From Thomas Markle, Samantha Markle, Thomas Markle Jr. Even my family Megan isn't coming to the UK because she is protecting her peace, protecting her mental health. I believe after Charles showed her enormous disrespect during on the day that the queen passed away, Megan was done with all of them. Megan was done with all of them. When she was shown enormous disrespect by my family, Charles, Megan was done with all of them. And she has never set foot in the UK ever since she was shown enormous disrespect by Charles. And she's the best example of protecting your peace. Of keeping your distance from your abuser, your family. And right now, the only person who's dealing with Charles, my family, the other ones, is Prince Harry. And I do hope the Prince Harry himself even says, okay, I'm done. I am done with all of them. I have tried everything to heal and mend this rift, but I am done. I am tired. You know? And also, my family. You know, moves on with his life. Stop trying to reconcile with people who has no interest in reconciling with you. Don't waste your time with someone like that. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. You know, you move on with your life and proceed with your life. My family. And also, Carnival of Socrates Patricia Ward also says this, my family, and I quote, It is thought that Prince Harry might extend Next week's visit, just a little longer than more recent flying visits. Not least because it is a working trip and one that has been in the diary for some time. He may, may take the opportunity to schedule meetings with representatives from the various UK-based charities he supports, such as World Child, Dida and Award, and Scotty's little soldiers. He might also want to catch up with his friend, Johnny Massa, the Veterans Minister, who is spearheading the UK's bid to host the 27 Invitors Games in Birmingham. My family, once again, I hope that UK never ever wins the 27 bid, the 27 bid to host the Invitors Games. I hope that they don't win. I hope that they don't win because UK media will turn the Invitas games into a circus of these questions. Will they be healed? Will Harry go see Charles? Will Harry see William? My family, and honestly, we are so sick and tired of hearing all that. My family, you know, nonsense again and again and again and again and again and again. For as long as UK media have an appetite for drama, for getting drama, then my family, the rift is never going to be healed. It's never ever going to be healed. Harry will never be able to, my family, have a good relationship with Charles because the tabloid media is only interested in getting drama. My family, that's what they are interested in. It's like a show to them, a show that must continue. A show that needs Prince Harry to come over 
That way they are able to create drama around him and come up with a thousand narratives about my family, Prince Harry. That's what UK Media, my family, are doing right now. Harry, please don't allow them to keep using you like that. Don't allow them to keep on, you know, using you like that. Protect your peace. Protect your mental health. Like what Megan is doing. Protect your peace. Protect your mental health like what Megan is doing. Protect it. You know? As you can see, this carnival of so-called experts are expecting for Harry to stay longer. <laughs> Not the, my family, usual 24 hours, 26 hours that he stays in the UK, my family. They are expecting Harry to stay longer because they want to keep him there. And the more they keep him there, the more that they can create drama around him. The tabloids don't want peace. They don't want Harry to reconcile with Charles. No, they want drama. They want a story to tell the public, the readers, the viewers. That's what they want. And Harry must not allow UK Media to use him like that, my family. You know, after Harry Meghan stepped back as senior members of the royal family, so many carnival of so-called experts have been losing their jobs. So many of them, my family, so many of them. Because they just away the goose that laid their golden eggs. Harry, by coming back to the UK or by making visits to the UK, my family, you can see that some carnival of so-called experts are jumping up and down with joy because they know they are going to make money off of him by getting drama around him, my family. Which is what they want to continue doing again and again and again. Over and over again. I mean, for example, look at Mike Graham. When he heard Harry's coming to the UK for the Invitas Games 10th anniversary service. My family, look at my family. He said, my family, I want to be able to hear this. I want to be able to hear this, uh, my family, please. He's coming back. Harry's back. Kenzie, very good morning to you. My family, to again here this morning please. Morning is coming back. Harry's back. <laughs> Kenzie, very good morning to you. Welcome <laughs> to morning. My family, once again, as you can see, they're happy. Not because they love Prince Harry, no. But they want to make money off of him. Because the fact is, when Harry comes over, the eyes, my family, of the international media are focused or gazed in the UK, my family. And that way, Carnival all circular experts are able to make money even from foreign media outlets who will be inviting them for interviews to come over there and talk about Harry's my family visit to the UK. And that way, even Carnival, all circular experts who have been losing their jobs because of Harry and Meghan in the UK, my family are going to be able to pay their bills because Harry is coming to the UK. And that's why they want him to stay longer. The longer he stays, the more money the carnival of so-called experts make. But the faster he leaves the UK, my family, you know, UK media, wake up to reality. That Prince Harry is not returning. And that Harry will always go back home to Meghan, Archie, Lilibet, where he belongs. And that's why even... They have been so angry upon finding out that Prince Harry and Meghan will be visiting Nigeria. They, they're so pissed off about them, my family. They're so pissed off and angry about that. It's like my family, you know, this news about Nigeria has not always the spotlight on the UK. Or my family had his visit and the spotlight has gone to Nigeria because everyone is talking about Harry's visit. To Nigeria, my family. That's the focus. That's what my family is on. Everybody, everybody's my family mind. That's what is on everybody's mind. And my family, you know, <sighs> Prince Harry, I do hope, you know, won't be disappointed by Charles. But I know my family, that sadly, he'll be disappointed. But I feel like sometimes, 
we need to open our own eyes by experiencing disappointment. I believe the Prince Harry himself will keep realizing even more and more that he made the perfect decision even to take Meghan and Archie and flee the UK. And Charles and UK Media will keep reminding him that he made the right choice. Charles' actions will keep reminding Harry why he fled the UK. It's sad. My family, you know, I feel like Prince Harry is someone who, you know, is hopeful. He's someone who has such a good heart that even if he has been wronged so much, he is willing to forgive. And it's good to forgive. But also it's good to keep your distance from someone who keeps causing you pain. Not running to the person who causes you pain. No matter who they are. My family. Because clearly, what I'm seeing here is that these individuals are not interested in peace. They are not interested in peace family. They only care about Harry Meghan being painted as the villains. William also will be doing his own engagement on the same day Harry is in the UK. Even he is busy. They don't want peace. They don't want that. They just want to see Harry Meghan being painted as the villains. That's all that they care about my family. And Harry, I do hope, never allows himself to be used by the key media. Whereby they use him by getting drama around him again and again and again and again. Harry, don't allow yourself to be used by the key media like that. You know? And my family, right now I want to hear opinion on what we have just discussed. May God bless Harry, Megan Archie, and also Lilibet, Diana, and Doria. Ruglan and all of you members that got at home, he never wins. Love wins and stay tuned on this video. Love you, awesome forever. My family, I fully support Harry in the decisions that he has made for his family to keep Megan safe, to keep Archie safe. My family, Harry is doing a remarkable, you know, good job. Harry is doing a remarkable, you know, good, good job. My family, you know, but also. I don't want to see him disappointed because of, you know, Charles' actions. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see Harry disappointed because of Charles' actions. I want to see Prince Harry, you know, happy, thriving, and living his best life. Because the more he hopes that maybe his father will change, or maybe he'll become a better person, the more Harry is setting himself up for a major, major disappointment, for major, major disappointment family. And that's what we don't want to see. My family. Now my family, and also it's important to prioritize your mental health. Never allow anyone to demand that you have someone toxic in your life. No, never ever allow that. Protect your peace, protect your mental health. My family. And Megan is the best example of protecting your peace and mental health, my family. You know? And my family, you know. I want to hear your opinion on what we have just discussed. And God bless you all. Stay tuned to this video. Love you also forever, my family. And may no perform against Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lilibet, Diana, ever prosper, my family. Keep praying for Harry, Megan, and keep wishing them all the best. Harry, we are with you and support you, and we love you. And um, I hope that you won't feel disappointed by Charles' actions because already. Charles is clearly setting the stage to disappoint you, Harry, again. But Harry just knows this. That all you need in life is Megan, Archie, Lipidana. You don't need Charles or William. You only need, you know, Megan, Archie, Lipid in your life. And please, Harry, don't ever tolerate Charles or William's disrespect. Don't. Stay tuned to this video. Love you also for my family. So what do you think about, you know, Charles again saying that he's too busy to see Prince Harry. I want to hear your opinion family on that. Although it isn't May 8th yet, my family. You know, who knows what's going to happen. But my family already, by what is, Charles is leaking already. Clearly, my family, you know, once again, he's going to disappoint Harry. I want to hear your opinion, my family, on what we have just discussed. UK media must stop creating drama.
using Harry and Meghan's names and focus solely on their taxpayer funded royals and leave Harry and Meghan alone. Stay tuned to this video. Love you, awesome forever. Hello, members of the Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.